Would you like to support Cubs Out Loud? One way is to join us over on Patreon. For as little as a buck a month, patrons get early access to our shows, the pre and post show, and various other rewards. You can learn more at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. Thanks to all of our patrons for their support in making this podcast. Sunday, December 18th, 2022. I'm Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. Welcome to Cubs Out Live, the Bear Podcast of Indeterminate Length, episode number 676. And. Oh boy. <laughs> I love how that's your response. Yeah. Gary, what did Elon Musk do now? <laughs> don't, nope, nope. Mm-mm. We don't say that name. <laughs> <laughs> like, get your band. They're like, girl, we don't talk about her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's so much truth to that in some ways. Um, yeah, so uh, this episode's called Where Do We Go Next? Um, so. We'll just jump right into it. Twitter recently uh, announced another update to its policies. Uh, as of this recording, it has not yet been incorporated into their terms of service. Um, and we're going to... So I'll start with the one that was yesterday, as opposed to the new one that is today, because that's wow. how things have... So yesterday, uh, a tweet was put out that Twitter will start incorporating mute and block signals from blue verified... Uh, in parentheses, not legacy blue persons as down votes. Um, and so a bunch of people have been like kind of irritated about this because essentially anyone who is blue verified can down vote posts by individuals so that they don't get seen by others. Um, and essentially they're de-boosting posts. So it's a way that you can actually cause harm to people who are trying to post things. So if I was to post something and other people didn't like it, and let's say they're all of a certain like ideological mindset, they could like ban slash down vote, like kind of de boost whatever it is that I'm trying to say. And that like defeats the purpose of having a platform of quote unquote free speech. And like, let's take it out of that context and go someplace else. Let's say that there's a, a, a in a, another country, not China, notably, that uh, there's something that's happening. Like, I don't know, maybe the Middle East, perhaps Iran, just a hypothetical. Mm-hmm. And people are trying to inform others of things that are happening. And like, quote unquote, bad actors in this example could downvote the posts that people are trying to do to put valid information out about Mm. corruption, about like crimes against humanity, whatever those things may be. Those are just like hypothetical dramatic examples. But the concept is, is like, why are, why are, why, why are we doing this? Why are, why are you doing this? And also, I mean, looking at this in a more mild, less dramatic point is if there's someone who's blue, who, who's got the blue check, and they're mm-hmm. just like, eh, not interested in this topic. Mute or block or something like that. They're just not interested. And they could be like, hey, if you want to do it, if you're interested, great. And they just block or mute it. And that purposely ends up down, essentially downvoting them and de-boosting posts and stuff like that. When it's more of they personally, just them, themselves, just didn't want to see it. That's all. Right. And unintentional in, the, in that case would be unintentional downvoting in that case. So it's like, oh, right. now I now all the blue people would be like, oh, now I have to look at this stuff. 
um, because it's like, I'm not interested in, but it is kind of important or something like that to other people. Mm. I don't want to mess with their ratings or anything. It's kind of a fucked up system in that case. Well, and I think the bigger case is like it's inequitable. Mm -hmm. If it's a user feature, make it available to everyone across the platform. But instead, they're making it a perk or a feature of paying for the service. And while, yes, you can say that, like, they have a right as a company to, like, request a revenue stream concept based off of a certain feature. Um, I think what a lot of people are having problems with, though, is the views and the things that are being done by the person who is now in charge of Twitter. And that, I think, is really kind of the bigger culprit is people are like, I don't want to give you any damn money. And that's fucked up that, like, in order to have this thing to try to combat the inequity, I have to give you money, which ergo is now funding. Right. Like, your concepts and your theories and your ideas and how you support and kind of run things. And, like, you just shut down, like, a half dozen journalists in the past week at major like media outlets because they were posting about wherever you were flying and that was considered doxing. Like I don't even have that in this document. I mean, there's just been, it's like yeah. nonstop ever since they rolled in with the sink in their hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, wow, this is, this is, yeah. This is something. It, it, yeah. It just, I, 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 I don't understand why it's a thing. Mm. But again, if it's all about, you know, making money, then then there's the there's the sense. It's making money. But why do we have to make money? Oh, because you're losing like eyeballs, because you're losing users, because you're losing advertisers, because you just had to like borrow and take out money from your stock from your other company that you own, which is also plummeting in value. Um, <laughs> like it's just, it's not good. And here's why I, I'm bringing this up as a subject, kind of to ask this journalist question about where we go next. Because today's thing, right? <sighs> take a break, dip, take a breath, kids. <laughs> so now, per Twitter support posting today, if you link to some other some other social media platforms, you will get shut down or your account will just outright be closed down and banned. Right. So, like, and then here's, here's the thing from today. We recognize that many of our users are active on other social media platforms. Okay, fair. However... We will no longer allow free promotion of certain social media platforms on Twitter. Specifically, we will remove accounts created solely for the purpose of promoting other social media platforms and content that contain links or usernames for the following platforms. Facebook, Instagram, which are the two biggies, Mastodon, Truth Social, Tribal, Noster, and Post. I have a funny feeling this list is going to expand. <laughs> just, that's just me. That's not in the that's not in the tw tweet. But it's like, huh? And also, we will uh, we will still allow cross posting content on from any social media platform. Posting links or usernames to social media platforms not listed above are also not in vi violation of this policy. This is all from just earlier today. Right. Um, but it's like, and then apparently. When you read through the other information, it's not listed in here. If you use Linktree, which is a popular site that's come on recently where you can list all of your different platform usernames, mm -hmm. like, and I've seen it used for like OnlyFans mm -hmm. or just for fans, um, right. uh, Xtube, like, wow. Like these different, like people have been using it for that. I mean, they, they blend a lot of things. I'm impressed with those people app. being able to use it for Xtube. Well, what they're doing is they're just putting up a link. It's like a shortcut link, and it, you get a series of them, and whichever right. ones you put up is your choice. But basically, my, my joke is the fact that XTube is no longer with us. Okay, Pornhub, whichever. And <laughs> one of the platforms yeah. I don't fucking pay attention to. Um, <laughs> but the point is, is like it's being used in in like the adult world, so to speak. Um, so like, so you can find people on on other places because Twitter will not allow you to post your stuff, so to speak. Although with less and less and less staff available now, more adult imaging is showing up and uh, videos. Um, 
so yeah, it, it's just been like a big mixed bag, but you know, it's like, where do the communities of kink, MSM, LGBTQIA plus, like, where do they go? Like, what, where is the new home? Cause it sure doesn't seem that Twitter is it, you know? Um, and it kind of begs some questions like, <clears throat> where do we want to go next? What do we want in our platform? And how much would we pay for such a thing if there was a be a fee? Mm-hmm. Or more importantly, does anyone care? Like, like, is it turning into that people are like, I think some people are kind of being blind about the effects. I, I seriously think like in 2023, if not sooner, because what there's how many days left in the year? 13? Uh, <laughs> like, like if, if they just don't like do a more harsh crackdown, I think in 2023, some people are going to be really surprised and be like, well, what do you mean? Like my account's been shut down or I can't post anything like, in a you know, and it's like, I don't know what yeah. to tell you, you know? Yeah. I think some people have been on the cusp of awareness about this. They've been posting randomly like, Hey, I'm moving to such and such and you can find me there. And now based on this, if one of them was to happen to be one of these platforms, like a specifically Mastodon, um, who's seen as a big rival, like you can't even post that and you can't mm-hmm. look in, in your bio. Like you can't do any of that because. Right. Like, oh. Right. It's like, it's a bit and that's, harsh. Yeah. That's the thing that's bothering me right now in particular is that I can't use a social media platform to promote my other social media platforms it feels kind of redundant, mm-hmm. but it, I guess it makes sense because technically you're using it for free, blah, 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 blah. Well, we, but I mean, when it comes to social media platforms, what they're talking about here is basically all these services, if I understand some of the later ones correctly, are basically doing essentially the same thing. There's some type of news feed, people post things, etc. So they're like, look, instead of you just constantly posting links to things, just use one of those services that basically posts the same thing to all these different platforms. You know, don't don't be like linking an Instagram to your Twitter. Post what you're posting on Instagram also on Twitter. But this has never been done before, though, Jeff. Like, no, to my knowledge, no social media company has ever said to their users, you can't cross promote your other platform. Yeah. Because they do different things. Like, Instagram is mostly images, TikTok is videos, like, Twitter is text. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, like, that's the weird, that's the weirdest part to me about this whole thing is like, there is no perfect platform. Yeah. And Twitter sure as hell isn't it right now. If that's no. the goal, if that's the idea, the ideal to work towards, it's like, why would you make this a, 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 a policy situation now when you certainly are nowhere near proving that these other things are unnecessary? Yeah. But I, mean, I, I also get frequently get annoyed when people like be like, you got a new thing on Instagram and it's like, I don't really want to go to Instagram. Just post it here. You can, it, the functionality is still there. But, but why would you duplicate that? And, and my field of work, it's called duplication of services. Like, why would you post it in seven different places Maximum over reach. and over and over again? For those people who opposed... don't want to use Instagram, they can see it on Twitter. For those people who don't want to see it, but that's, want, look but at that's Twitter, what they can see it on Instagram. I mean, but that's what they're doing, Jeff. They're posting it. They're cross posting it. You just have to click the link. And if you don't want to click the link, but I don't want to go to another it. link to see it. I want to see it just right here. I don't want to go anywhere. Right. So cross posting means. So why don't they just literally post it at both places? And there's lots of services that offer that service to do that. Well, now not not so much. Can't use TweetDeck to point to some of these other things, like or Hootsuite or whatever. Like the, that's the thing that kind of fries me a little bit. I mean, yeah. it's come it's come down at work. Like, there's been a couple of discussions. Are we going to keep our Twitter account? What are we doing? Like, you know, mm-hmm. it's now turning into a fascism, like support platform. 
Um, I mean, like these are interesting, you know, kind of varying things of topics. But for me, it was like I've already started to notice like there are people I don't know where they are or where they've gone. And, and I agree, I'm not necessarily in all the platforms. And so the content has changed. And it's like it's diminishing in terms of what's getting posted. And eventually I'm concerned that it'll just go away. And more mm -hmm. importantly, it's like, like well, where, where is the community going to end up going? And I regret there, there really isn't anything substantial for a new platform or a uh, replacement, I think, for our communities mm -hmm. yet. It's, it's hard to say. Like I've heard, you know, different, you know, platforms that are out there and some of them have also been kind of a little weird. Um, I've heard good and bad things about Hive as a per perfect example. Hive is the one that a lot of people started going to not too long after he who shall not be named um, <laughs> initially like took control. Um, but people are finding there are problems there. Um People are getting, um, particularly LGBTQ people, um, are getting um, posts removed or I don't want to say outright banned, but I know at least getting post removed or putting getting things flagged for content because Hive does not yet have like the functionality and cap capacity that, say, a Twitter does or an Instagram does. Um, and well, then... Well, I don't. I don't know. I'm not on Hive. I've, I'm still on Twitter. Right. I, I will say moved. this: I, the thing with Hive is there were two main things. One, they recently were kind of not shut down, but they weren't really operating very well for about two weeks. But that's because they needed to do some big like upgrades on the back end. Now, why would they need to do that? Oh, Hive as a platform is run by two people. Mm -hmm. Two. Right. Like Damon and I. Two. Like. And it has exploded because of the stuff that's been going on on this other platform over here. And I'm like, I can't imagine being a 20-something and having created this, like, a alternative platform and then finding yourself with, like, million, millions of people trying to, like, set up profiles and do things when you, like, weren't really that robust to begin with. Right. Um, in addition to that, there's a whole thing about the not safe for work option. The reason why people like Hive is because it allows you to post NSFW content. That said, they do have a rule about how you post things and that you need to tag your post as not safe for work. And then the users have to put in their settings that they want to see not safe for work. I think that makes sense. Right. But – not everyone's necessarily doing that because they probably don't quite understand how that's supposed to work. So I don't know if that's the case of what you're describing, Damien, but I'm kind of like, well, if yeah. you didn't read the rules and you don't understand how it's working, I'm kind of yeah. not surprised if you're like, getting that, flagged. Or and, and maybe whatever. that's the case, that they're they're not reading all the rules. Again, like you said, people made them, were doing the mass exodus and were just looking for another place and they got here and like, cool, like we all do. Terms of service, blah, 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 like went through it and just like <laughs> clicked accept. And, you know, you didn't, you probably didn't read everything. You probably don't know all the rules. And I don't know if they're giving you a, a primer or a like quick start guide or something along those lines to give you an idea of what you should be doing mm. um, or how to do it, you know? Because again, the the fact that the truth of the matter is a lot of these sites, especially social media, have to be careful because of what they p put out there. Because, and uh, Almighty Apple um, is very you know conscious of like making sure that things don't get in certain hands. Right. So, you know, if you have explicit content in your, you know, app or what have you. You can't be in Apple, for example, if I'm not if I'm remembering correctly. Right. Our most are probably most things real realistically. You can put stuff out there once you're in there, but for purposes of putting the app and selling the app and getting people to download the app, it kind of has to have this glaze of uniformity of of not of safe for work uniformity. Um 
at least on the get on the beginning. And then when you get into it, you can kind of get into the nitty gritty and do the not safe for work things or the more explicit things. Um, right, because what they're trying to do is prevent minors from being able from being exposed to adult content that is not meant for them. Right. So they they're they're notably in in the App Store for Apple stricter about getting your stuff out there. That's why that's why the platforms have these like extra layers to them. So as an example, if you're on Grinder, like at least I don't think it is the case currently and it shouldn't be, you can't put a dick pic as your profile. Like right. you just have to have that in an X-rated or adult <laughs> like locked off section. Now, theoretically, and I think it's true, you can unlock that for everybody, but it's not your main profile Picture. piece. It's right? not your main, yeah. And so like a lot of the platforms are trying to work with what the the structure of that is. So like there is an Apple-based platform system called Spaces. Um, unfortunately, it's not available for Android, which I think is a challenge. Because it doesn't have a web now. interface, I don't think. Um, but even within that, like you get inside and like there's all these like rooms or groups or whatever. They're all called spaces. And and like there's a not safe for work bear space. But in order to get into it, you have to have an admin that allows you in. Like you can request to join, but you can't automatically get in. And these are like extra layers of, pr of protection, so to speak, and security for the platform and the users and that kind of stuff. And I think it, it makes practical sense if you talk about these things. But I think that's what's difficult is um, when people just are looking to get off and like they want like three to seven minutes. OK, maybe 15 to like <laughs> to, to like, you know, blow their load. The last thing they're caring about is like all these like layers of security and like, you know, blah, 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 because they're like, just show me the dick. Show me show me the hole. Show me the fucking and sucking. That's all I really care about. And I get that. Like, I'm not saying that that's wrong, but there's some give and take. No pun intended. <laughs> you know? Sorry, um, I, I thought I remember seeing that someone has said that Spaces was now available on Android, but I don't see it. I could be wrong. I see two things that say Spaces. I hate Android. Uh, Apple, some, or not Apple. Google Play sometimes because of this moment, because I'm looking and I have like two things that say Spaces. One is by Wix and one is by Spaceworks. But none of them look like the spaces as I look on line for the Apple version. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of like, so I, I, I will hold off on doing anything because I don't know yet. Um, but I agree, it, uh, that's where, again, I think that's where the, the sort of next, not next step, but the conundrum lies. Right. is what, you know, I understand the desire to want to be your own thing. Twitter should be its thing. You know, Instagram is its thing. Facebook is its thing, even though they're technically owned by the same people, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like, you know, the little buckets of things that are their thing. I don't like when a application suddenly changes something that has been going on for years, and I mean years, mm -hmm. with this little warning. And that's kind of where my issue lies with this. If they had said in March of 2023, mm -hmm. this is what we're gonna do, or in, you know, like give it a few months so that, hey, you know, we're going to change our terms of service and we're not going, we're no longer going to allow cross promotions of the, you know, kind of what it kind of said. We're no longer going to allow it. Or, you know, something, something along those lines. If they had done that, I would still be a little salty, but I don't think I would be as salty because I have time to, if I wanted to jump ship, you know, I would, you know, go, okay, well, let me just put all these like things out here and be like, 
I'm leaving in March. So if you want to catch me, you can catch me here and here and here and here and here. And those won't get banned or, you know, deleted until March. You know what I mean? Like, like, like there was a, a warning of less than a, of more than a day <laughs> or hours. Um, right. No, I think your, your point is valid, Damon, because this just came up and like nobody had any heads up. Mm -hmm. Nobody has no. Nobody has the time or the ability to adjust mm -hmm. as preparation. It's just it's now in effect, mm -hmm. and it's like today, like literally right. the day that we're recording. Although if you look at the policy posting, it doesn't have a date on it. Just as December twenty twenty two, it's just kind of wild. Um, and there and so it's interesting because I heard recently that there was this analogy being made that Twitter is modeling itself after Zuckerberg's early days of Facebook, which was, what was the saying? Um, move fast, break things or whatever it was. <laughs> um, and the concept was, is like, you know, we'll like, if we'll, we'll just constantly do things and we'll try things. And if it doesn't work, then, you know, we won't do that or we'll fix it or whatever. And I'm kind of like, you know what people don't like? Mm -hmm. Like it's very yeah. uncomfortable to constantly be in a shifting landscape. They'll they'll find other things. They'll be like, this isn't worth it. You know, it's right. like and who would want to work for an employer where every single day your policy is changing about what your job is or how you can mm -hmm. operate or what you do. Like, yeah. You know. And that's again, I don't I don't I think that's the crux of the issue is that we don't know. Mm hmm. And again, yes, it gives these sites, you know, it lists, you know, specific sites that are no longer, that are not allowed. Um, and I'm kind of like, that's nice, but why these specific sites? Well, we know why these specific sites, but, um, you know, for example, looking at this list, I I don't see. Um, well, I'll just put it out there. I don't necessarily see like uh, a just for fans or only fans thing as an example. I don't see that being you know, if the idea of this is to not allow free promotion, then why just these things and why not other things? Or why not all things? He, he says free promotion for other social media platforms. So it's like right, you're but, on this one, we want you to be on this one. And, and... But that's also where it's a little wonky because it's like, but if you look at the number of active users for other platforms, it's inconsistent. Like, what about WhatsApp? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a social what media a... platform that's a messaging platform. Um, TikTok? I mean, that I can agree with. Snapchat? Pinterest? I don't even understand Snapchat. <laughs> right, but, like, and YouTube, like, is questionable as a social media platform, although they do have the ability to chat on there. That's as a, well as that's post a, things. that's a, and, a uh, OTT streaming service. But you can also create communities on there. And you can pay membership to be a part of a community on there. Yeah, but again, it's an OTT streaming service. So we're getting into semantics, essentially. Yeah, it's, it's not really a social platform. media platform. Social media platform, you get that nice stream of everybody's posts. And all of the, your, the community has to chat in the community forum, essentially. But it's, um, it's not the same as the social, when these social Got media it. platforms. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to say this. Hey, Google nerd, the public doesn't know that, Jeff. They don't care. Like, I appreciate that you have the definition of that, but Joe Schmo on the street doesn't know the difference between, like, what is an OTT? I don't even know what the fuck that means. And, like, the other stuff. Like, so I, I hear what you're saying, but I'm like, people out there, aren't, like, the main yeah, we don't. people in the world don't know that. I don't kind of care. They're like, if you ask them, is YouTube a social media platform? They say, yes. Because they don't know what the definition is. They probably, you know, aren't really that interested. My point is, like, it's pretty wonky as to, like, how this is kind of being established. I'm like, yeah. timing aside, I'm like, you know, and then people are turning around and, like, talking about, you know, these different previous posts that were put up. And they're like, okay, so let's get this right. So you're not allowed to, 
like talk about how you have a Facebook account. But then they're pointing out that Twitter promotes its own Facebook account from Facebook. Like right. Twitter has a Facebook account. So they're like, so are you going to take your own account down because you technically promote the other platform for yourself? So, and, then, and I'm just saying that because I thought that was so fucking amusing. I was like, this is this is why I don't think it was vetted or really thought right. about. <laughs> It's like, uh, okay, whatever. I, I think that there, I think the desire was meant to, the purpose of it was we don't want you to promote freely, quote unquote, your other social media sites. We don't want you. We'll do it because we can, because we're the owners or whatever. But you specifically, you can't do it. Yeah, which you're going to call into question. Yeah, I mean, it's still questioning, like, why did they do it in the first place? Like, what was their reasoning behind even having the rule? Yeah, and it, the... the I, I'm not looking at the um, policy. I kind of wanted to look at it a little more. I, uh, I put a link. So, yeah. folks, know when we go to post this to the website... Um, there will be some screenshots as well as some links to some tweets, but also the link as it stands right now well, for social. Well, I'm just going to embed the tweet policy. in the page so they can they'll see the tweet. Keep ah. in mind, if the tweet is deleted, Jeff, that it will be a broken link. That's why I put the yeah. image in because I started so, thinking about that, and that's the kind of shit that's happening on Twitter is that things are just being deleted and eradicated, and so right. stuff ends up breaking. So, oh, god damn it! Uh, wait. Um, now, as a side effect, well, David's like going to look at the policy. What I found hysterical was someone also posted this. This abused me. It's quite shouted and Freud. Someone said, so specifically, you have initiated the takeoff sequence of the Streisand effect. People that don't even know about these other platforms yesterday are now searching for them today. Which I thought was really funny because it was like, right. So now you just introduced some names of some new platforms that people didn't even know existed. So potentially they're now searching them <laughs> on the internet to check them out, which means you might have people leave because of that. Not everyone, but just like, it amused me to no end. I was like, okay. Probably not what you were thinking was going to happen. But who knows? In the end, I'm just concerned for our broader community of perverts and non-perverts um, and everyone kind of in between about like what, what will be coming in the, in the future, so to speak, as to where people will congregate, what will be, what will be our town square, quote unquote, um, you know, whether it be for like body positivity, um, a place for people to express their artistry, to be them, their you know own selves. I, I, it's just really kind of mixed for mm -hmm. me, and so yeah. And sorry, sorry, I was just taking a second. I don't, I don't know the answer of where to go. Like, um, I'm noticing a lot of people on my Twitter feeds are going to Mastodon. Um, well, that's where we're most uh, a lot of people were saying to go to back when the whole Tumblr exodus was happening was Mastodon. And then right. everybody ended up going to Twitter because essentially it's more popular. Yeah. And that's kind of where it's that's where I think the problem lies is what is going to be the next quote unquote popular space. Um you know, given what you've mentioned about Hive, like clearly maybe not that one right now, not yet anyway. They are going to need to really, you know, amp up things, you know, get staff and what have you. But Mastodon appears to be the next one where things like this are possible. However, I do know um, Facebook is doing a lot of interesting things like with groups and you can have the, you now have these chat groups with your connected to your group where you can now kind of post things and, and what have you. So 
could that be the next thing? I don't think so, but there's a part of me that feels like that could possibly be something to consider. Um, um, Mastodon, I, you know, I, I haven't gotten on there yet. Um, I'm hesitant, hesitant to add yet another social media platform in my rotation. Right. Um, well, I will say this. When you go to get on there, you can ask me for your questions because <laughs> I don't think it's user friendly. Um, <laughs> well, me, it's also pla- is it in a platform of like of social media platforms. If that makes any sense. Um, so People it's create a, it's their a, own platform. Or it's a network community. of servers. And you could theoretically create your own server or you could just join a server. And then once you join a server, you can cross like follow people on other servers. So it's it's a bit geeky, it's a bit techy, and that's the problem I have with it is that I think that people don't understand that and they find it very difficult because like your server name is kind of your home and mm-hmm. like there's like literally thousands of them, so it, it makes it very difficult to kind of find or follow people because like if you joined the server that I'm on, you like because I'm there and you're like, oh, I want to be where Gary is. But like then you kind of I don't know how to explain it. Um, It's like. <laughs> what the heck? Sorry. Um, that was a video. Um, yeah. I It's it's one of these things where it's like. uh think of it this way it's it's very much like mind mapping or bubble linking but like in a tech way and i think a lot of people are just not that savvy and i think that's one of the issues that people have had with mastodon is like even i like i forgot i got a mastodon profile back in like 2018 um probably around the time that we did see well what is it 490 um when we did rest in peace twitter (laughs) because uh or twitter board whatever it was called because it was one of these things that we were like hey you know um uh no sorry tumblr porn r.i.p tumblr porn i think is what it was called it because of the change with the platform and all that jazz uh so yeah it's one of these things that i had to like reconfigure like Am, where am I at on there? Who do I know? Now, luckily, mm-hmm. at that time, a lot of people were sharing, not that, not 2018, like about a month ago or so, they were sharing their usernames on Mastodon. So I was able to like kind of search. But that's the thing is, you can't search all the users of Mastodon. You can only search for someone you think you know is already on there if you have their name. And then you can mm-hmm. find them. And if they don't use their name the same or modified it that makes it challenging kind of the same thing on hive Mm. like like and i think originally on hive it was like you had to know their real name which i'm like that's kind of challenging for our communities because Mm -hmm. some people have other identities that they go by Um, right as someone recently posted they were talking about like the furry community and it kind of amused me because there's this little like jokey meme and it's like you know me one minute after learning the like you know the bio name of of a fursona i forget it like and and so yeah. i could see that in other communities you know yeah. that people just kind of don't um know that stuff. I, in in the court i'm known by my drag name like some might know my real name but most don't or they just don't yeah or even when they like even in even this when i'm completely boy like they still call me by my drag name and I'm okay with it because that's how you know me and that's okay. And, but you know, if you were looking for me on another site and I had to use my real name or my, you know, what have you, you probably wouldn't be able to find me because you think I'm this, but on here, I'm not this. And in addition to that, I will say, like, other platforms operate differently. So both Mastodon and Hive, if I'm correct from my experience, they don't float anything based on priority. So Mm. nothing gets put to the top because it's higher liked or boosted or shared more. 
Mm. Um, it's literally chronological the way Facebook used to be a long time ago. Right. Um, and, and, and I find that kind of refreshing because in theory you will scroll to a certain point and then realize, Oh, I've seen this before. And then you'll stop scrolling. Um, or maybe not, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I find that interesting, but like that's, it's, it's a different thing, right. you know, for people to get used to or comfortable with, um, you know, and you also kind of have to make these decisions about, like, I think one of the things that was convenient about Twitter um, that is not quite the case on these other platforms is having multiple identities. So, like, having a, a work professional kind of identity versus a pervy, not safe for work identity. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Like, it, nothing's really, I guess, arisen. Um, yeah. And... Again, it does really call into the fact that, like, we don't, we won't know, at least not for a little while. Right. I, I know people are probably going to be jumping ship. I do know that much. Um, people have already kind of said it. There have been other things that have been said by he who shall not be named um, that have given people enough reason to be like, nope, I'm out. And that's all well and good. Um, if you're true, live how you want to be. And if you don't want to support, then I mean, not really support, but don't want to be here, then don't. Like, by all means, take your, you know, go where you want to go. Um, I've mostly kind of been there on here because I kind of want to see what happens. Um, the fact now, which is a little disconcerting, um, that some people can't even share where they're going without some kind of potential blockage, essentially, calls, you know, it, it, that's my other concern. If this was your safe space, and I use that loosely, mm -hmm. this was your place to be yourself, and is where, like it or not, you're getting the attention and getting interest and finding that positivity and then you now have to lose it but you can't even tell people where you're going i feel like you're going to kind of lose that stability that you've had for so long um and that could be a problem well right and and i think one of the things that you were saying a little bit earlier damon is like if you want to leave you know that's fine you can do that thing. I think that that's also what's disconcerting. The detriment, the downfall is like the lack of connection. Mm -hmm. Like one of the things I will say that Twitter has provided that Tumblr used to provide was like seeing things that other people shared that I didn't know existed. Um, artwork by brilliantly talented, skilled people. Um, it, you know, and it gives insight to you as a person, your interests, um, the communities that you're involved in, the things that you're passionate about. Uh, so that's the concern I have is like when people leave a platform, like you lose that connection unless you're really connected to them in real life in some fashion mm -hmm. to stay in touch with them. Like you're losing a bunch of that stuff as well. And that's, that's the bigger concern I have is for the greater like global society is that that is breaking down, um, and going in the opposite direction of what the internet can do right. as like a broader, like common space, so to speak, that people can have connections with, with other folks and understand what that is or, and hopefully get their minds, you know, opened by seeing different things and understanding, you know, that the world is just not like your insular bubble, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Um, although I question that more and more of late, um, well, just because, you know, people are feeling more than ever that they have the ability to be outspoken and mm -hmm. say things. Um, so I do want to recognize Dustin had said in the live chat. Uh, so kind of like Reddit. So I asked for clarification. Do you mean Mastodon is like Reddit? And they said, yeah, with different servers and such. Um, I'm going to say maybe. Um, and this is the old man in me. I don't I'm never really on Reddit. Like, I think I've been on Reddit, like, uh, 
20 minutes of my entire lifetime. Uh, and I haven't been on that platform in years. And the only reason why I went on is because I was being nosy and like following links that people were cross platform sharing on other platforms, <laughs> like, talking about like, you know, how there was this thing over here. So um, right. I know that that Reddit, like all platforms can be for good and for bad, um, because uh, although that's a very interesting concept, because my understanding is that Reddit allows you to post things, but you have to post it within a group or a page of some sort, and everything has admin moderation. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there's always monitoring of what's happening as activity. And like, if you're out of line with the policy, the guidelines of whatever this thing is, like, then moderators boot your ass. Yeah, or, and, but that's whatever. a community moderated thing. Um, so unlike things like the like Twitter or something where you have your own feed, this isn't your own feed. This is when you post, you're posting in the community, not the not your own personal feed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that, but uh, but the idea of like being able to search out a separate Reddit user, you would need to literally know their username, and that might be as difficult like, as Mastodon is. Mm. Huh. Yeah, so I mean I I don't know what comes next or what the the thoughts and situations will be for folks. Yeah. Um I just hope that folks find a new home and that they have some capacity, capability, mm. yeah, to share that information, although now it's becoming questionable that you won't get banned. <laughs> Yeah, from one for the other. I'm yeah, just like... it, that's been my. I want people to have the opportunity to share and be in their truths um, as much as possible. And I don't know if Twitter is the place for that anymore, um, for one reason or another. Um, Tumblr is still iffy. We know we talked about it a while back that they've kind of updated some things, but they're still kind of being a little janky with what can and cannot be posted. So, you know, it's not the same as it once was. And it's very, very, very slowly getting back to that in a sense. But I don't think it ever will be the same. Um the other places, you know, again, I think for us in particular, we've not had enough experience with them to kind of give a yes or no that these are the next spots to go to. Uh, me personally, I, yeah, like I said, I haven't even, I haven't even looked at Macedon yet um, as an example, but um, I'm also, I'm also not on Instagram. I'm also not on TikTok. I'm also not on, you know, uh, was one of the other ones that they said? Hold on. <laughs> Truth social, our tribal, our post, our Noster. I'm not on any of those things. Um, really, I'm only on Facebook of the things that they have prohibited. Um, Facebook is the only one I'm technically on. So, you know, I don't, I, I don't, I, would, I don't. I would just like to get an explanation of like, what, what, why. I want the why. What's well, funny want that you, you say that, behind it. Jeff, because I believe Jack Dorsey, who created Twitter, if I'm mm -hmm. correct in putting these pieces together, someone snipped uh, a copy of that posting about the policy change today, mm -hmm. and below it was a reply, and all it said was Jack, and it has a blue check mark. So I think this Jack Dorsey who created Twitter, and all he said was why. <laughs> Which just amuses me to no end. It's like so the 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 father, the person who created the platform, who like you know understandably long, sold it. long, long time ago. Right, right. But but is still on it. Just ask the question, why? So you're not I alone. Think, like it just I amuses think, me to no end that they were like, yeah. And I think that is the general you know overall question, like why? And right now, the only reason I can think of is the uh, the most you know fundamental question, which is money. And eyes. Yeah, they it's want money. people to be on Twitter, then not on one of these yeah. other platforms. Right. And, and I mean the the side 
the only side thing that I can see is they don't want people posting to another posting a link to another platform when they could just post the exact same thing on this platform as well. And they do have an yeah. API for for somebody to cross post things. In fact, whenever we post something onto our blog for posting for the show to going live, it goes to multiple platforms. So it's possible. You can do it. I don't know what all the the uh, uh, services are, but they're there. So that I can kind of understand, but all the other implications that go along with it, all your major concerns, I can understand as well. But it, yeah. which gives me more of the why? Like, was your intent just being like, why? hey, why? Just, why? Why? Yeah. Why? That's the name, right? I know him. Uh, uh, Discord. <laughs> I think that's funny. Dustin was like, I'm mostly sticking to Discord, LOL. And I barely understand Discord. I'm on Discord as a moderator. It's very frightening for me. Um, <laughs> I hope it comes out loud to Discord, which I created because you, and then you all decided to go, don't go to Twitter or to Telegram instead. Well, so, but it's not comes out loud. It's someone else, someone I, I, that's a best friend of mine that does gaming that I observe with some frequency. I put sure. you as a monitor on the Cubs Out Loud one, too. Right, but, like, so I'm technically a moderator over there, but I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Um, <laughs> so I don't really ever say or post anything. Like, I, like it, it's so kind of confusing me because there's so many rooms, so mm -hmm. many themes, like, and then each thing can have its own set of rules, and I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, my God. Like, yeah. I'm like, uh, it kind of makes my head spin. That's why uh, you don't want to be an administrator of it, just be on it. Yeah, I, I'll give it. I'll, I will give a sneak preview to our um, patrons after we're done with the show. I have some news. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> so yeah, like I, I just find that kind of stuff intriguing a little bit because I'm just like, but that, but that's a that's a a, a well made point by Dustin about like you know there that that's not even on the list um, as a platform. But again, it's also I would justify it as not being the same type of platform because it's it's more like like a, a chat room sort of thing you know where we're like the old aol chat rooms or there are different rooms that sort of thing that's basically a chat it's more of a chat room than than like a well it's 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 right there. it's broken down and kind of siloed in that yeah. like you have to know that this thing exists, that these spaces are there. And most of the time you have to request to join them. Mm -hmm. So it's not so much public. It's a lot more private and insular. Right. Yeah, and while that provides, you just need a link. Well, right. And, and, and that like has some safety to it in some ways for security and, and caution and stuff. Mm -hmm. But on the flip side of it, it's like, that's not, that's not what these other platforms have been to date mm -hmm. uh, and how they can be utilize so i don't know like I, there's a, a lot yet to to be said but mm. i at least kind of wanted to put this on the radar and and see where we feel about that kind of stuff anyways yeah uh i i think one of your questions do we care currently i don't care i'm, I'm just not a social media person though so that's just a personal me i think i care mostly because it's not right now it's not necessarily affecting me but i know it's affecting others and that's where my concern lies is that it's it has the this overall potentially shockwave of effects to other people's um that in a in a way could potentially go you know, rebound and come back to me it sounds bad like that but that's kind of way i feel about it um also, what are we going to do about all of our porn if everybody leaves? I mean, well, but that's just it, right? I mean, you know, if, if if people go away and we're used to the rise of seeing um, real bodies that are not like, you know, produced through a company mm -hmm. that put right. up a paywall. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but like that, that whole landscape has vastly changed. And I see more jiggly bits, curvy bits, um, 
peen hole and everything in between than I ever have in my entire lifetime. And I still think to myself every once in a while, man, if I'd seen this stuff when I was a teenager, my life would have turned out way different. <laughs> it just would have, because I probably wouldn't have had some of the, you know, the dysmorphia issues and the concerns mm-hmm. that I had about, you know, potentially being gay, because I'd be like, Jesus, everybody's gay. Do you see all the dick they're sucking out there? Um, I'm just saying. So, yeah, I, I think that that's, you know, uh, something to for consideration, you know, to, to think about that. It, if it doesn't impact now, it will potentially in the future that it may go away. And then, you know, how are people going to get off? Anyways, you're Absolutely muted, right. Damon. Shit. We always find a way. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean yes. We're, like, we're like the dinosaurs at Jurassic Park. Park. Jinx. <laughs> Beer. Um... <laughs> Anyways, the gays will find a way. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I'm, it, I'm, I'm very sure we will. Like someone, we will we'll find some way to do it to make it happen. Interesting. Dustin said, "Yeah, I don't see Discord as a social platform right now, but it is coming to a point where it's getting bigger and might become a social platform." I wouldn't call it a social media platform now. It's a social... I, I think it's a social platform now, just not a social media problem. It's all about semantics here. Mm-hmm. I, I think that kind of begs the question about, like, what comes next, who, what, where, when, and, and how does that all work, so... Mm-hmm. Well, I think we talked that to death. And that's the end, right? Right? Anything else, last minute, before I get my <laughs> off? No. Okay. With that, uh, probably ways to contact us. Uh, let us know what what uh, social media platform you're actually going to, if you are going anywhere. Uh, you can do that uh, many ways. You can do that at comesoutloud.com. Uh, shoot us an email. It comes out loud at gmail.com. Uh, give us a call. Give us a ringy ding. If no one has called us, even after I sa- said we might be losing this in less than a month. That's the 361 COL talk. That's 361 265 8255. You follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Cubs Out Loud in the appropriate place of the URL for now. Um, YouTube, definitely. Or you can join our entourage chat at tinyurl.com slash telegram dash COL. See when we're planning on recording these shows uh, at on our Google Calendar at tinyurl.com slash calendar dash COL. Get to various Cubs Out Loud accoutrements, such as a hat. A uh, shirt, which you can get in many different styles, including a sweatshirt or a regular shirt or whatever. Consent is my foreplay shirt, which, by the way, all at Zazzle.com slash Cups Out Loud, which the consent is my foreplay shirt was originally designed by Smashy, and you can find more of his work at tpublic.com slash user slash Smashy's Bear. If you'd like to come become one of our patrons, you can do that over on Patreon at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. Or if you would like to send us a donation, you can do that at paypal.me slash Cubs Out Loud. Uh, you can find us on various podcast platforms such as Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, Amazon, and Audible. Please rate us reviews there. The more ratings we get, the more it will go up in the algorithm, more people will find us. You can find me anywhere on the internet as Box Set Box, Puppy Box Cub Box, something or other, or Windjump, W Y N D G E M on Twitch. For one more Thursday, the 29th, for the final episode of Bears and Dragons. Damon? If you wish to get in touch with me, you can find me as TheaterCup79. That's T H E A T R E C U B 79. Our most bear related sites are on Facebook. You can also find me for now as pup underscore umbra on Twitter. Um, the Twitter is definitely not safe for work for now. <laughs> if you would like to find me, uh, it could pretty much be found anywhere online as Gabriel seven, three. Um, and when it comes to some of these platforms, you're looking for probably Gabriel seven, three XXX. And with that, thank you on everybody. Good night, everybody. Have a good one. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs>